Hi there Ray here and today we will talk about why GPU prices have gone down. But, before I tell you why the prices have gone down we need to take a look at why the prices were so high. And let's be honest the GPU prices were not high because the GPUs were that good. GPU prices were high for many other reasons that to us consumers don't actually matter. But as always when big tech companies mess up we are the ones that pay the price. And without wasting more time let's start with the video. So why did the GPU prices go up? Glad you asked, and I know you probably know some of the reasons, but I will still mention them really quickly, and let's start first, mining, and to all of the people who don't know what mining is, well mining is when you use your PC to make you some digital currency like Bitcoin or other currencies, but your PC will take some time to generate those coins, and that's why people used to buy a lot of computers so they can leave them mining 24 hours a day, and the more computers you have the more money you could win. And it's worth saying that this thing used to be really profitable. And keep in mind I said used to be profitable. It was good. Keep this in mind because this will be important after a bit. But like I said since it made money people were doing that a lot. And when they saw how profitable it was they bought even more computers and used them. But it's worth mentioning that in every PC there is a GPU. And there's a good reason for that. The most important part that made the mining computer good was the GPU. So everyone that wanted to get into mining just went online and got whatever they could. But in my opinion these people didn't want to bring us harm. They saw a way to make some money and they took that chance it's not like they wanted to scam us. They were the ones they were making money from. But, do you know who made money from gamers or anyone who needs a GPU? Scalpers. For everyone that doesn't know the meaning of this. These are the people that don't need things they just buy everything. And when someone needs that thing they sell it to them but they demand a lot more money in return for the product. So to put it simply they buy cheap GPUs and they store them. They don't even open the box. And when someone wants to buy that GPU since it's sold out everywhere. Because the miners took the GPUs. They sell the GPU they bought to you with triple the price. These are bad people don't be like them. And there is. One more reason why they weren't making more GPUs. Because the companies weren't expecting to sell that many GPUs so they ordered less parts. And when people started asking for GPUs they just couldn't make as many because if you search there was a material shortage. And let's not forget since everyone was taking classes online, everyone needed a computer and everyone needed a GPU for that computer. And the virus didn't help because the materials weren't being made as quickly because of the limitations that we had to make from COVID. So what I'm trying to say is that there wasn't one reason for the GPU prices going up, there were many things that happened to the GPU market that changed it and the demand was a lot higher than quantity that the companies were able to produce. But now why did the prices of GPU crash? Well it's for the same reasons it went up and more, first there was no COVID now, so the companies can return to full capacity, but in my opinion the big reason why the GPU prices dropped is the mining. And I know I said that mining was bad because they bought all the GPUs. But hear me out, mining used to profitable, now it's not. Actually the money you make from the mining systems doesn't even cover the electricity bill most of the time. So why does this matter? Well they had all these GPUs, and when they don't need those GPUs anymore, can you guess where those GPUs are going to end up? And if you guessed as consumers you are right, they are trying to sell all the GPUs they have so they can recover some of the cost. And when there are a lot of used GPUs in the market the price normally goes down. And if you are asking should I buy these GPUs, well it depends. Most of the time they are fine, sometimes they are not good. But you should take it from a place or site that allows you to return the product in case it doesn't work just to make sure. But if you are lucky it shouldn't matter but like I said be careful just because most people are fine and don't have problems doesn't mean your GPU will not have those problems. And there's some other reasons why there are so many GPUs for example, most of the people that actually needed a computer bought it, because they needed it right then. The other is now we have one more big competitor that makes GPUs, and the competitor is Intel, and I think this competitor will change the market completely for the future. And the next video will be, how the prices of the GPUs will change in the future and Intel will play a big role in my opinion but if you don't want to miss that video make sure to subscribe, and let's not forget now when it comes to GPUs there are no scalpers and the reason is simple, there are a lot of GPUs, and everyone can have them so they don't need to buy them, now they are buying PlayStation 5, but that's beside the point, but since they are not controlling the GPU market, the GPU market is better, but let's see what the GPU prices really are, because we are talking about old GPUs, they are cheaper because there are a lot, but when we look at the new GPUs they are not cheap. I mean they are not triple their price, but still they are expensive. 
when it comes to new high-end GPUs they are still not worth buying. For example the RTX 4090 is still over $1,600, so actually if we look at the market the GPU prices haven't gone down, they are up. Only old cards or newer used cards are cheap because there are a lot in the market, so if you plan on making a cheap gaming PC then you are lucky because there are a lot of used parts on the market, but if you want the best and if you want new parts the market is about the same, except scalpers, at least we don't have them that's good, that's better but the actual prices aren't down. They are up, at least that's my opinion and that's how I see things, but we are PC gamers and good things don't happen to us, so since at least old parts have gone down in price we will take that win, we get every win we can take at this point, don't judge me, I am trying to see the positive side, because this past years when we talked about GPUs there was nothing but bad news, so this is a positive, but if we look at the performance of some of the old cards they are not bad, they are still pretty good. And if you can get them used in good shape and with a good price, well then my friend you are lucky, and there was never a better time to do that than now, if you are looking to make a PC with used parts. Right now it's the best time this is worth mentioning twice, but like I said the GPU market isn't that good, new high-end GPU prices are not down they are still very high, so why are the prices still high and will the prices change in the future? Well if you want to see my take on that make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video where I will make sure to cover this, if you liked the video drop a like, if you didn't dislike and if there's anything big I have missed let me know by commenting down below, this was Ray and I will see you in the next one.